Hi, it's Josie. And today I would like to share with you how I taught myself to do a half halt. I was forever being told by my coaches, half halt, half halt, and nobody ever really told me exactly what to do or what it really was. So I had to go off and try and sort it out for myself. And this is how I taught myself to do it. And now it has become how I actually teach a green horse to do it. So there are many different half halts. We half halt to tell the horse, are you listening? Are you ready? It actually helps the horse to get rebalanced before you do a movement on him. You should half halt before every transition. You should half halt after every transition. You should half halt before you turn off of the long side. You should half halt before you turn onto the long side. You should half halt if your horse is starting to fall, um, lose his balance and fall on his face. So within a training session, I would do hundreds of half halts. But in the beginning, I taught myself this way and I made it methodical so that I could do something that would then become a habit that I didn't have to think about. It happened on automatic pilot. So then I could actually do the half halt without thinking about it while I was concentrating on something else. So if you like this video, I would really love it if you would give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. That helps me grow as a channel. And in the comments, I'd love you to tell me if you understand half halt or if you don't. And then I'd love you to let me know if my video has actually helped you and if you're gonna go out and practice it. I'd like to tell you that you don't actually develop as a rider if you sit there and watch YouTube videos. Yes, it's great, go and watch them, get your information, but go out and try what you're seeing and see what sort of results you get. Let's get started. So to be able to do a half halt, your horse has to understand the go and the stop aids. If he doesn't understand them, you're not going to be able to manage to do a half halt on him. And we use those two things to troubleshoot the half halt if it's not happening for you. So if the half halt doesn't come through, and when we say that, all we really mean is that the horse didn't actually answer your aids, we will go back and find out, was it the go aid, was it the stop aid? Okay, so let's start our horse in trot. And I'm just gonna talk you through it before I actually get on and do it. So this is how I do a half halt. So you have to have a contact on your horse's mouth because he has to feel you telling him with the rein to listen or are you ready or are you there? So basically I'm riding along and we'll do it in trot but I'll talk you through it. And I go, oh I can do one in walk actually. I'll go, are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? Good boy. So all I did there was go, are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? So it's like squeezing a sponge. And I do it three times. So once to warn the horse, second time to check that he's listening, third time to actually finish the halt. So if Wayne can zoom in on my left hand, I will go, are you listening? All right, he's pretty switched on, so he listened to the first one. But if I was going to troubleshoot that, I would suggest that I use too much rain then, not enough um, keeping him going forward because I really didn't want him to stop on that aid. So we'll try that again. Are you listening? Are you listening? And halt, good boy. So when you do Are You Listening, you need to have just gently enclosed your legs around your horse. You're not giving him a go forward aid, but what happened back there was that I had no leg on him, so I just basically closed my finger on the rein and he stopped. Because at the end of the day, you want the hind quarter to come a little bit more under the horse to do a balanced transition, be it a down transition or just a half halt. At the same time as asking with my fingers, are you listening? I will be growing a little bit taller in my seat and pulling my core, putting my core on. So setting my tummy muscles. Um, how else can I explain that to you? If you pull your belly button to your backbone and blow out through a straw, you will have flexed all of your core muscles there. So I'll go one, two, three. 
looking a little bit unattractive guys but it's very hard to coordinate something and talk to you at the same time all right so let's go off in trot and see how that looks so now I have a nice soft contact with spider's mouth every time I rise I'm going to close my outside rein and I will count one two three for you and then on the third one I will ask for the halt so it will be like are you listening are you listening sorry not a halt um, walk are we ready okay are we listening are we listening walk good boy and I do the same before an up transition I touch my outside rein are you listening and how do I know that he's listening to me I don't know go back and watch that bit that left ear flicked back at me he was thinking out there and it flicked back I feel the horse's body underneath me just sort of change in shape and form so he's going oh okay because my half hole is are you ready are you listening we're about to do something so before an up transition are you listening yes he is are you listening yes he is are you listening now he's going against me so I just aborted mission there flies are friendly here in Australia are you listening are you listening trot good boy are you listening are you listening walk we're going to build on this for the half halt guys okay so are you listening are you listening trot it becomes a habit for the horse too to know that on the third time you're usually doing something are you listening are you listening walk and that was an anticipatory uh, up transition that spider did then and I never get cross with my horses when they anticipate it why would I they're trying to please me when people get cross with their horses because they anticipate things I get frustrated with the rider my horse is trying to please me by doing what he thinks I want how amazing is that anyway here we go are you listening are you listening and trot and this time what I'm going to do is because you'd be doing this until you know that your horse is really listening and he's anticipating the down transition and then what you do is you go are you listening are you listening no I want to keep trotting so let's see how we go with that are you listening are you listening no I want to keep going good boy so the I want to keep going bit was my legs went on a bit firm and said no keep going and my body went forward let's try that again are you listening are you listening and trot on good are you listening are you listening and walk then you mix it up and are you listening are you listening trot on are you listening are you listening no go on and trot good are you listening are you listening corner are you listening are you listening walk are you listening are you listening canter good boy are you listening are you listening trot good boy you don't always need three half halts and I don't always use them anymore but in the beginning I stuck with it for some consistency to make my body do something without me having to consciously think about it so I hope that helps you go out and just work on that do lots of are you listening are you listening walk from trot are you listening are you listening walk when you know your horse is listening and you can feel he's anticipating it go no no I don't want to walk now let's keep trotting that is the beginning of teaching your horse a half halt and that is how you would teach yourself I hope you enjoyed that guys thanks for watching